Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, thank you very much for being on Electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, uh, today I want to talk to you about generator maintenance, generator engine maintenance. Okay. Now, many of us we have generators. We work on generators, but probably you wonder when and how to carry out, you know, maintenance and service. So there are so uh, various parts on a generator that really need, uh, you know, regular maintenance, you know, and then uh, preventive maintenance, okay? But if you're going to carry out, if you have a generator that is working for you, uh, probably as a backup or as the main source of power, okay? Uh, you need to have a certain period of time on when and how to maintain it. Most generators, uh, especially, in Africa here, but, but it should be specific, uh, at least in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and probably South Sudan, okay? Uh, we normally take 250 hours. If you look, uh, if you read some of the manuals uh, from manufacturer, they even recommend up to 600 hours, changing oil filters, uh, sometimes changing the, uh, fuel filters, you understand? But basing on the weather we have here, most the African weather is really harsh okay harsh in the sense that uh the places where these generators are are really dusty so there are a number of things that you really 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 need to change whether you like it or not now i have some stuff here uh which could give you a preview on you know how to call out uh maintenance and uh, what parts are you gonna change okay all right now first of all uh we need to know why we carry out maintenance that's the first thing we carry out maintenance because one the engine takes in air and it needs clean air okay it draws air from the ambient and takes it inside for combustion okay so it uses an air cleaner or air filter which filters that air uh before it goes in the engine okay now you also have uh, uh, oil filters okay you have oil filters which also filters the oil now you have oil in the engine which is always at the sump okay engine oil is driven by a pump which the pump is always moved uh, driven by the engine power okay so as long as the engine runs the pump also runs okay so it pumps the uh, the oil from the sump and then it distributes distributes it all around the engine okay now uh when the engine leaves the sump it has to go through uh, a filter before it goes to all those other places and then it goes back okay so you need a filter in the most bigger engine like the one we have here 500 kva we use uh, three of these okay and the oil will be, you know, uh, filtered in stages, okay? So, this is how your uh, oil filter looks inside, exactly like this, okay? So, you have uh, where oil gets in and then it gets out, okay? So, you get to know why you change. So, if you didn't run for more hours and then you don't change this, remember in the engine, uh, they're always because these are moving parts these are moving metal even if there is oil but there is some tear there's that friction okay so those particles every time they go back to the sump uh, we don't need them again to always go you know up to uh, with the oil when the, uh, the parts are being lubricated okay because you can imagine uh, you can imagine if uh, that kind of part escapes and then maybe goes between uh, the gears okay so you know the engine cannot operate well that's not fine so you need to change your oil filters okay then the other thing you got the fuel filters okay now fuel filters in most generators the small generators you have uh, just a fuel filter may probably one okay but these are big engines uh, you have like three filter okay so you have the main filter which goes last you have water separator 
and you have the pre-fill filter. Okay. Now, uh, you may be, you can be use your external tank or the base tank, but whatever you're using, fuel will always go through the water separator first. Okay. Through the water separator first, and then uh, to the pre-fuel filter, and then later to the fuel filter, and then to the engine. Okay. That's how it works. So, most people, they always forego this because all these parts that I've mentioned earlier, they attach the engine block, okay? This is separate, it's always aside. So you can even forego it, but it's a very important part, okay? Uh, because if, if you run your engine for 250 hour and then you look at how this filter, you know, will be after 250 hours, you find that it's really, really, really dirty, okay? really dirty so that's why you need it okay to filter that fuel such that by the time the fuel the fuel is leaving the final filter it's really super clear okay all right so those are the uh some of the parts that um uh the consumables that you have to prepare when you're gonna carry out your generator maintenance okay so uh basically that so the other thing also which you have not you don't have to forget when you're carrying out your generator maintenance and service is to clean the heat exchanger the radiator okay every time you carry out that maintenance you have to clean it because since uh it helps us to cool our you know coolant so the fan blows uh, through it so you find that it has a lot of uh, it accumulates the dust inside the things so if you don't uh you know clean it when you're carrying out that services you might find that uh it can grow uh the dirt can you know build around the things and the cooling might be you know not efficient okay so you have always remember to clean that and the radiator it's, you don't need to even to wait the 250 hours every time you get a chance to wash that engine you must always you know wash that radiator thoroughly then maybe probably after maybe like uh even a thousand uh, uh, like a thousand hours yes then you can you know carry out you can remove the radiator and then you wash it thoroughly okay okay those are one of the services all oh, this is a preventive maintenance okay you carry out the services you check the battery you know uh you check the because this engine runs their vibration so you check all the parts to make sure that the, the engine is compacted Okay, you don't have the, these loose bolts, and also you check the belts uh, and the fan. Okay, making sure that everything is okay. So I thank you very much. So uh, the next video here, uh, we will carry out service together, and uh, because the area where we film that video, there is a lot of noise, so there will be no talking. Okay, so you only have to look at and see what we we do. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to, uh, to service, the next, uh, I mean the next video, we're going to service uh, Volvo uh, Penta 500 kV. Yes? So you don't have to miss, uh, to miss that. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share if this kind of videos interest you. We are going to, you know, to have a lot of these videos. If you have any suggestion, uh, any kind of video you want me to bring you as far as uh, diesel engines and generators are concerned, Feel free to put it in the comment below. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Until next time, I'm out.